What is up, everybody? How we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings. I use he/him pronouns. Welcome to my gym. Welcome to our gym. Welcome to the collective whole. Welcome to my whole. Welcome to our whole. This is your whole. It was made just for you. Welcome in, everyone. How we doing? Welcome in, Greeny. Welcome in, Boris. Thank you, Greeny, for the resub. Welcome in, Dan, Florida boy. Johnny Jargon, welcome in. And Rocket, happy, happy birthday, my dude. Happy birthday, Paul, welcome in. How we doing? How we doing? And welcome to guest one. Guest one. Copious amounts of peanut butter is a must. If we're going to gain 20 pounds this winter, we're going to need a lot of peanut butter. Sweaty Gamer Games, what is up, my friends? And how we doing, Sirely? Collective Hole was my name in college. Boom, happy Monday. Boom. Boom. Here's, here's, you know what? You know what? I just realized that that is akin to a band name. Were you making a collective soul joke and I just missed it? Our Jim, the pirate Jim. <laughs> Our special Jim. Hey, hey, Florida boy. What did the uh, what did the pirate with the uh, what did the pirate with the wheel on his belt buckle say? He had a big old like turny like turny turny wheel on his belt buckle. You know what he said? Oh, you're welcome, Rocket. Thank you. You ordered a pallet, a whole ass pallet, a whole ass pallet. Welcome in. Keeping you guys on tabs. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Gaines. It's been a minute since you streamed, huh? I guess I haven't been looking, but no. But I did think of it. Happy croissant. Yes, he, he has an ass pallet. Uh, welcome to Ass Pallet Town. My name is Ass Ketchum. Why am, I so, why am I using so many filthy words at the start of stream today? I ain't even, I ain't even trying to do this right now. And this is just what I'm getting pulled into. But welcome in, everyone. Uh, we're going to do, as soon as I get the music thing booted up, we're going to do our workout overview for the day. I knew there was something I was forgetting. And it is track name, artist name. He said, Arr, it's driving me nuts. Okay, that was a really delayed delivery on that joke. But I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, maybe I'll, maybe I'll snip it together. Was it that kind of weekend? <laughs> there was, there was a lot. There was, a, you know, honestly, I went to Comic Con this weekend and it was full as hell. What did the pirate say on his 80th birthday? I am 80. <laughs> How have I not heard that one before? That's really good. And by really good, I mean really bad. But also really good. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Happy Monday, everyone. What better way to start off than horrible jokes? You know what else we can do? We're going to do this breakdown. All right, everyone. Welcome to today's workout preview. Today's workout preview, we're going to be doing an upper body day. This is week six of our Lurl Lurl as we've been referring to it. We're gonna start off with some bench press uh, and we're going to continue doing this kind of weird thing where we are slowly blending some powerlifting training in our compounds or powerlifting style training in our compounds with uh, hypertrophy training that we're doing in the rest of our accessories. So uh, doing a two by two by 235 top sets on bench and then going down to a working set of three by five by 210. Uh, this should be like as we're getting towards the end of a cycle and getting towards a deload, we should be up in the RPE 9 to RPE 8.5 uh, rate of perceived exertion, whatever. Uh, <laughs> then we'll go into some barbell rows and dumbbell curls. We're going to do a, uh, a pull superset with those. Uh, again, since it's hypertrophy focused, we're doing these like movements back to back instead of complementary movements. Uh, we're working the same muscle groups to try to get a little bit more stimulus stimulus in the muscle belly. Uh, seated OHP and lateral raises, hitting the shoulders for a superset. Incline dumbbell press and dumbbell fly, doing a chest superset, and then adding in some hammer curls. Third to that, just to kind of work the biceps a little bit more within the space of this workout. And uh, then we're going to do some abs if we don't talk too much and run out of time. And that's today's overview. Let's get warmed up. Favorite run sign joke. What's brown and sticky? A stick. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be honest with you, Dan. I really enjoyed that one in my, uh, 
in my in my heyday. And by heyday, I mean the time when I peaked. And by the time I peaked, that mean that was high school. I peaked in high school, and I love that brown and sticky church. <laughs> the last thing in the workout routine. If we don't over yap, we'll get more done. Welcome in Richard. Welcome in Michael. Welcome in Bella. Bella, you already were in. But good, good morn, good morn, booty. Richard and Michael, how are y'all doing today? You're here just in time to watch me stretch and complain. Wah, wah. All right, that's all the complaining I'll do. Actually, you know what? No, I won't say that. We're just starting the workout. I got so much time to complain. I got so much time. Sort of. Whew. Whew. Welcome in, folks. How was the weekend? We went to Comic Con this weekend, one of the Comic Cons. It was a local Comic Con, and it was delicious. The food was not delicious. The food was kind of mid. What up, Billy? Welcome in. Did you have a job interview recently, if I remember correctly? The answer is yes. I have not heard the results, which uh, communicates to me personally that I am not the top candidate. <laughs> Ugh, but there's a, there's a lot going on there, so I won't say too much. I feel like I kind of kind of beefed it. It was a two-part interview, and I did really well in the first part with the people that I would work with directly. And my stakeholder conversations were just a little bit, they were just a little bit rough. I think I was more tired than I was giving myself uh, space and credit for. So I didn't deliver super well, but that's okay. I just changed jobs a year ago. Ooh. These inch worms are so good for warm ups, but I tell you what, I have probably done these hundreds of times at this point. And every time, oh, they still leave me feeling. Ah, oh, that's your mama. I'm feeling. Feeling sluggish after lots of drinking and eating this weekend? Hell yeah. I'm glad you had a good weekend of imbibing. Ah, yeah, because you were celebrating a birthday, correct? Not your birthday, but someone's birthday. I know who. Waiting for my aspirins to kick in so I could do my stretching. Oh, hey there, Bulk Bro. What up, sushi? What kind of stretching are you doing today, Richard? I'm gonna ask how it went. There's a lot on what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think it would be cool if they made me an offer and selected me. That would be very validating. Uh, ultimately, like, this is not a desperate thing for me to change jobs right now. Um, in fact, it would, in many ways, very much prefer not to. But it was the kind of opportunity that I did not want to think like, oh, if only I had applied for that, now I will never know. But, you know, it's a, a good thing about an interview process is even if it does end up being not successful, it is not a waste of time because I know specifically what I need to get more prepared for future interviews. Oh, we're doing upper body, so I don't know why I'm doing so much lower body prep. It just feels good. Feeling good on the hips. Yesterday we did lower body, which was heavy deadlifts. Oh, and uh, my leggies are feeling it. I'd hire you if I had a business. Hell yeah. Thank you, Billy. I needed to hear that today. I needed to hear that today. Sorry to bounce right when you came in yesterday. Hubby's birthday. How's he doing? Is he mad hungover today? I hired Joe to break the tension in conversations with people. What if, what if you did that and I just made it worse? I can offer more tension. Ooh. Thoracic stretching, twists, bends. So I pulled something in my back three weeks ago. Slowly getting back to the gym, stretching routines in the back. Hell yeah. That's great, Richard. And you're, you're starting to feel a little better? 
Well, thanks. Thanks, Borgs. Yeah. You gotta put yourself out there. You have to, every once in a while, put yourself in the space where you let other people evaluate you. As much as I personally uh, think that, like, you definitely should not constantly put yourself in that situation, depending on, like, your career and your situation in life. Like, sometimes you just got to do that stuff, but, you know, if it's been a while since you've gotten feedback from another human being, uh, maybe consider seeking some out, whether through formal means, whether through informal means. You have someone you're close with. I'm just like, hey, yo, I am curious about how I'm coming off lately. Be as specific as possible with what you're requesting, obviously. Don't just be like, how am I doing as your friend? Someone might have a lot to say, but they may not have much. Am I being responsive enough? Am I coming off like a jackass at parties? All valuable questions you can ask. Got settled in this position, it feels, yeah, no knocks. It's like that sometimes. Sometimes you gotta try. Less hungover, more dairy hungover from a massive cheese board. Oh, I love the cheese board. I love the cheese board. I am a, I am a hoe for some charcuterie. When I am on <laughs> my, okay, so this is, this is something that I will reveal about myself. And I think I have discussed this before, but I am, I am a voracious consumer of cheese and crackers. Very often, I would say probably four to five days a week, am I at some point in the day eating some iteration of cheese and crackers because it is a snack that works super well for me and when i'm on a cut i have a small plate and when i'm maintaining i have a standard plate and when i'm bulking i have a big plate of cheese and crackers sometimes it's lunch sometimes it's my meal between lunch and dinner Never for breakfast. Salami for breakfast? Are you kidding me? Probably would be delicious. But I ain't in the habit. Ugh! All right. My hands are not feeling ready to bench. I don't know how to describe it any other way than that. Dan, I have a question. I have to make sure I don't overdo it. Haul and carry on luggage to the airport. It's Friday and Saturday. Had my back reminding me Saturday night that I'm not completely healed up by any means. How were your travels, though? Cheese and cracker cycling. Expert level dieting. It's just like you, you pick different crackers. You pick different cheese. You pick different meats. Lack or add thereof. Oh. Oh. Hang on, I gotta pull these these polls. Salami for breakfast in this economy. I will say that I have had bagel sandwiches with salami uh, because I have not been in the habit of procuring pastrami. And a pastrami bagel sandwich is one of the things that I always try to get when I go to big cities. Ah. Woo. What's the story? What's the story, Morning Glory? What's up, Paul? Do we get a shot for Paul? I think we already did. I don't know why I'm yawning like that. I'm barking. Day trip, SFO to visit someone before they head off to Europe. Sick. Okay. Ritz are for bulking. Saltines are for cutting. Triscuits are for everything. If you are... If you are not enjoying the flaky, whole grain taste of Triscuits, why not? Okay, so Borgs, here's the thing. I'm a little over prosciutto. We used to buy these packs of cured meats from Costco that included prosciutto. And for some reason, I just got real sick of prosciutto. 
real quickly. Also nice, we shot him twice. Wish I could work on my PC from my bed. This laptop ain't cutting it. Do you need a new laptop? Is it time to start sharpen? Got the phlegm stuff sorted out. Had to take nasal spray that dries everything out. No more problems. Doctors are like, you need to take this consistently, not just when you need it. Yeah, that is that is a trouble that many people have with medications. Myself included. Like, I could say... I could make a lot of claims about being really great about taking prescribed medicines and whatnot, but I am just as human as anyone else. And that temptation to be like, ooh, I feel better. I'm just going to stop. Uh, is always there. But it doesn't work that way. Anyone listening to this right now, please take note. Many medicine don't work that way. Antibiotics don't work that way. For the sake of me, my children, and literally everyone else, please finish your suite of antibiotics when you take them. If you are ever prescribed antibiotics for an infection or for anything, please complete your dosage, unless your doctor says otherwise. I am not a doctor. I will not say otherwise. I will say do what doctor say. Do, do what doctors say do. Please do doctors say do thing. Oh. You forgot Twiskets were a thing? Have a one from school. Just wish battery life was better. I remember when all I had was a Chromebook. That was a really weird time. My Italian background needs prosciutto. Yeah, go buy, go buy some Triscuits today. Get the salt and pepper ones if you're feeling like real, uh, real, um, what do you call it? You know what? Never mind. If you're, if you're feeling like some cracked pepper, get some cracked pepper Triscuits. That's all I'll say. And then forgets the meds. I mean, that's a special thing. Forgetting your ADHD meds. That's like a, that's a problem within a problem. That's a meta issue. Oof. Oof. So one of my friends asked me if they can stop taking the antibiotics because they're feeling better. Just like, it's, it's like, hey, it's like, just think about it this way, you know? Think about if a medical professional, we know they're not perfect, right? We know medical professionals are not perfect people. They are humans doing jobs, very well-educated humans doing very complicated jobs. But do you think that they would just give you like a random amount of pills if you're really sick? Like, like would, would a pharmacist that went to school for eight to 10 years to just like help you figure out which pills to take, would they just like give you 15 pills because they feel like giving you 15 pills instead of 11 or 10 pills? If, if, if your answer to that question is yes, then please stop taking your medication whenever you feel like it. <laughs> this, this is from someone who definitely did completely eat shit, not taking his antibiotics all the way through and then getting a much worse infection and having a lot of complications from that. So, I'm not just wagging a finger. I did that shit. It's not good. It's not good, please. I don't know, I can't remember how we got here. But you know what? I'm not backing down. All right. Bench. Oh, Basher, you can't get mad at me. You can't get mad at me. I said in the last one that I'm not pinging everyone anymore. 
You got to opt into the live ping role. You got to opt in, buddy. Basher, it's good to see you, but you got to opt in now. I was on someone else's stream, and they went on an absolute tirade about using everyone pings for live stream announcements. And I felt so called out that I immediately turned around and asked for help in setting that up myself. <laughs> Do you want a worse infection? This is how we get worse infections. But yeah, uh, I guess anyone who's in here that is also part of the Discord, just a heads up that you now need to opt in to live pings. Because basically the, the argument that someone gave me was um, if you do everyone, like at everyone in a, in a server that what it does is um, it makes it so that you always have like notification badges on Discord, like on that server. So you can't tell if people are actually talking to you. So Badger, I'm, I'm very sorry that, uh, that you didn't catch that. But we made that change just to make, make it so that like folks can be a little more active in the Discord if they want to and like not feel like that's a barrier for them. Imagine not having Twitch notifications on. Hey, that's me. I'm going to own that right now. If you, if you don't put it in Discord that you're going live, and I'm just not like seeing you when I'm thumbing through, <laughs> I don't know that you're live. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm that guy. I was getting so many Twitch notifications. I had to turn it off. Oh, but I was supposed to put on my Twitch story, too. That's right. That's a new thing. Yeah, so Bella, if you're ever like, man, I wonder why Joe doesn't show up on, on stream. That's why. That's why. That's why I miss your streams. <laughs> I'm sorry. What up, Rome? How we doing? Uh, ooh. We're going to do a story right now together. Long, long man. He is the long man. He is the long, long man. We, uh, we should, uh, we should definitely. Billy boy, how we doing? Welcome in Rome. How you been lately? Hang on, I gotta, I gotta do the thing. Boop. Thank you. Wait, okay, yeah. Live and... Live and lifting. Upper body day. Hell yeah. Perfect. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, thank you, Bella, for, uh, for the wonderful hat. I wouldn't have this hat if it were not for our Lord and Savior of... Lord and Savior of Cold Domes. Killer Booty 007. I got a fart joke on my hat, and that's the best thing ever. Well, second best thing ever. Last warm-up set, and then we'll go heavy. Oh, Rome, I'm hanging in there, my dude. We have a we have like a, a relatively clear week with personal stuff this week. Like last year, or sorry, last week. 
it's like Sunday night and Lauren and I were just looking at everything we had to do and felt completely overwhelmed. And this week it's like, okay, well, we don't have as much social stuff happening, but boy, howdy. Do I have a lot of administrative shit that I need to weed through this week? And some of it is very good. Some of it's kind of fun. Like we are, uh, we're doing some, some stream team stuff that's very important this week. What does it say? Oh, it just says Killer Booty 007 is what's on the hat. But I asked Bella if that uh, referred to their actual like human form. And they're like, no, that's a fart joke. The joke is that the farts kill people because they're so stinky. I said, oh, man. You are, you are a deity. You realize this, right? I don't think we've done a shout for Bella yet, but everyone should go hang out with Bella for some slightly unhinged, but overall very warm and welcoming stream times. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of our mods in here right now are, uh, are active streamers as well. Run Dan Run streams under Big Deal Hub. Oops, my finger slipped. Oops. Oops, my finger slipped and I sent you $500. Ooh, woo. Oh, whoa. Wouldn't it be a shame if you took a picture of your feet and sent them to me in return? Oops. Oh, <laughs> hello, Crybaby Crick. <laughs> How are you doing? I think I was just having the discussion uh, with someone in their stream like two days ago. They were like, you know, anyone could be in your chat. It was Bulky Bill. <laughs> it was Bulky Bill. And uh, I can't remember how we got here, but he was like, yeah, you know, pretty much at any time there could be some like a uh, very influential or very important person just lurking in your chat and you would have no idea. So, uh, yeah, so that little spiel about sending feet pics, I think, is something that I probably shouldn't have done with that in mind. Richard Dreyfus, Richard Max. Ooh. What about Richard Simmons? Huh. Ah, him too? All of you, Richards. We have multiple Richards in this chat right now. And I'm so proud to have them here with us today. I wish my wrists would warm up. NASCAR driver, Dick Trickle. Mm. I'm Tricky Dick. All right, I'm gonna get some light on us for our, uh, our big bench set. These are, I don't know if I put down three reps of three, but these are gonna be doubles, heavy dubs. And again, my hand is feeling like sort of mid right now. Look at all those Richards! <laughs> My company knows I'm unhinged, so I don't care anymore. Hey, that's cool. Mine's still figuring out how they feel about me, I think. Nobody mentioned Richard Pryor. That's a good, that's a good shout. Hey, that's a good, that's a good Richard pull. Wacky Racer Dick Dastardly. Don't forget Dick Dastardly. Dude's got a mustache that will rock your world. I want to talk about hand-wringing supervillains. Dick dastardly. My legs are so angry. How were your hills yesterday? I think I saw that you put in Discord, but I didn't have a chance to look at your actual message. You can do the wrist clock walk. Oh, is that like the... The like... Putting it around here. And like walking them in circles. And coming back around. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I don't know why, but that's got the, the song Plug Walk stuck in my head. We ever talk about Richard, but never Bitchard. <laughs> I'm Captain John Luke Bitchcard. Say that to my face, why don't you? 
quarter mile hill. Ether is relentless. Pause my Garmin at the top of the third climb to realize it was almost. Oh, oh, I've done that before. And then you don't get all your reps recorded. Yeah. After this week, I don't know how I'm going to get through speed workout this week, Dan. Maybe I'll do hills to close off this training cycle um, before a deload. It probably would be the best thing because during my sprints last Thursday, my legs, my ankles, man. When you are only running two times a week and you make one your speed workout, you feel that stuff. That is, a, that is not an easy thing. Nice wide grip. Rock in the back. It's tight. Good. That was how it, that was exactly how that should have felt. We'll do a little more rotator cuff warm up. Woo. That actually felt a lot more smooth than I thought it would. Got sent back to the car uphill. Gross. Gross. Yeah, we have this, uh, we have this hill in our area. And it's near one of these big parks, and it's one that the um, one of the local universities uses for their track workouts, like their speed workouts multiple times a year for their uh, cross country and track athletes. And it's an absolute burner. I don't know the length of it, but the workout that we did was just like you get 20 minutes to do as many repeats as you can. And like even people who are in very, very good shape were getting like somewhere between 10 and 12. I want to say I got six that year because I was not in peak running form. But even if I was, like those dudes were cooking it. Oh, 15-ish other marathoners, triathletes, ultra runners. That's sick. Because, like, even when you can't keep up, I'm forgetting to do this. Even when you can't keep up, it feels very good to, like, be with those people who are performing at that level <laughs> and, and get to, to see that level of athleticism. Ninja Sake, welcome in. How you doing? And welcome in, Red Hot Sash. Happy Monday. I'm going to ditch, the, uh, ditch the, the top here. One sec. What do you think of Voyager so far? Freaking love it, honestly. Uh -huh. I was uh I was harshing on Voyager pretty hard when we started watching it. I had like one one particular criticism of the show that really only works when you're looking back at the show, but was super relevant to me at the time. But um, I'm, I'm loving Janeway. Uh, still hate Tom Paris. Something, something, at some point, something is going to make me not hate Tom Paris so much. I'm sure of it. But uh, yeah, maybe I, maybe I need to give Tom Paris a chance. We're gonna cut some of the incoming light. Just get our uh, set up a little bit more dramatic. Cause this is like, I got sun coming in right directly through here and it's good for lighting in the space, but not so much for lighting on my face. Whew. Going monthly, not mad at how I did. Literally starting again. Goal is to walk way less next month. You got that, Dan. You'd keep it consistent and you will absolutely get that. Woke up sick this morning, but I'm still at work. I'm sorry, Sash. Man, man. I'm sorry for your sickness. Uh, generally, Voyager, liking it. There are some moments where I've just been like, all right, sure, whatever. Because the, what, what they do, and it works, you know, like it makes sense. You bring them into a system where they've never been before, where Starfleet has never been before. 
like what choice do they have but to just like make up a bunch of new stuff and there are some disgusting alien species in the new one or in in voyager All right, doubles at 235 are done. Now we're gonna drop the weight down to 210. And we'll do a couple of working sets of five reps, ideally. Dramatic lighting Batman. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna start warming up. Start warming up for dramatic light of Batman. By the time I actually get to doing it, the bomb will have exploded. This isn't about my parents. This is about justice. This is about, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm sorry. I've been doing too much late night snacking. Got a little Trisket caught in my throat. And that's it. If I do that for much longer, I will, uh, I, I will fall apart. And everyone will leave. Hello, Moon. Welcome in. How are you doing? And welcome in Lacroix, AKA a payback. I'm gonna put this back up here because we, <laughs> if we're closing that window, we actually do need, we need the lighting back here. Welcome in friends. I did see a lot of Batmans at Comic-Con and there was a gang of jokers walking around with a little, with, with a big sign that said like, have you seen this man? And it had like a really bad drawing of Batman on it. That was hilarious. It was good. Have a bunch of meetings and two small presentations this week. That sounds miserable. You got this, Moon. You can't imagine Batman with a mustache. It just wouldn't work. Everyone would think it was like Harvey Gordon. No, not Harvey Gordon. Wow. Harvey Dent is not the same as Commissioner Gordon. Someone can, you can cancel me for that. All the light. Boys! I did the thing and passed my defense. Yes! Congrats! Yes, you passed your defense. That's huge. That is huge, boys. Can I get some hyper poise? Finishing up a, fin finishing up a dissertation defense is is a massive undertaking. Congratulations. I'm so glad you're done with it. So glad you're done. I love Harvey Gordon. Who is Harvey Gordon? Ugh. All right, next set, gotta do it. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Maybe we'll get warmed up enough to ditch the sweatpants, but I don't know if that'll happen because it's pretty, pretty chilly down here. All right, I forgot to put an extra 2.5 pounds on. So we're just going to do 205 for six instead of 210 for five. Whew. Happens to be a three month sub. Oh no, it's all good. Please let me know when that happens if I don't notice. Thank you so much for that three month sub. You're saving them dollars. Not only, not only are you intelligently navigating the academic system, you are saving dollars by multi-month subbing. Huzzah, and congrats. 
Oh. I gotta circle some things. Hang on. Ten. Eight. Six. Two. Two. Uh. Six. Two oh five or six. We'll just keep doing that. Wow. Lurk and focus on a proposal. See you soon, Dan. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. <laughs> Gonna stop saying things. No, don't don't stop. Don't stop. Keep it coming. Keep bringing them golden nuggets. But we can we can change we can change the subject. I get the feeling that you want us to change the subject, and I'll I'll, I'll appreciate that or respect that. Uh, so this weekend at Comic Con, it was like I have never never before. Evie, Evie, come on, come on, girly, come on, come on, something got her really worked up, welcome in, Bill, welcome in, Byron, come on down, girly, come tell me about it, yeah, I hear you woo-wooing up there. Good luck in all the presentation proposals that are slowly forming. Everything. Everything will form into, into place, form into space. Hello, bear. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, today's just a lot of admin stuff for me. Like, one of, one of my favorite pastimes in the work that I do is when someone says, Hey, this person can't fill out their timesheet. And they haven't been paid in two months. Did you, did you set up an appointment for them in the first place? Did we hire them? Or have you just been making them do work without any paperwork? Is that, is that what happened? Is that what happened here? Of course, I'm a lot nicer when it happens, but how are you? Oh, bear, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. You know what? Uh, arms and wrists were feeling a little bit... A little bit crusty at the start of the session, but they're currently feeling a lot better. How are you doing today? What you got going this week? We're doing our upper body lifts. Come on. Nope. Didn't feel right. All right. Now it feels right. <laughs> that was a little scary that's fine though see the hips come off the bench i cheated welcome in amorous hello hello uh, phew. Phew. supposed to do that one more time i don't know if we're gonna hit i don't know if i'm gonna hit Six on this next one. Got a doctor's appointment soon. I hope it's for a a checkup or a good reason, or at the very least something that's not painful. But it's good to see you, Bear. Got two hundred thirty dollars interest from. Wow. Good for you, Byron. Every 11, 11, we have Black Friday in the U.S. And, uh, you know, it do be coming up. There are a lot of sales that are going to be happening. Prep shot. Got to do blood work. Not too bad. Okay. Okay. Just a little, little jabby jab. My butt shot. Got to do blood butt. Thank you, Buttspot. Anything you have on your list of purchases? You know, not really. Not, not really. Like, I've been trying to think, is there anything that I want to either, like, support a small business with or, you know, save a decent amount of money on a purchase for myself? If there's anything, it would probably be 
like a heater for the garage. Uh, but I don't even know if I'm going to make that investment because uh, we just we've been we've been paying for a lot of other stuff. Our concrete is done now. We finally got the concrete finished in front of the garage. So now we have instead of this just like super beat up asphalt situation, we have a <laughs> it's basically like an eight foot strip of concrete with a. Uh, with a drain in the middle of it, and then a drain going underneath it that runs all of the water away from the house towards a, uh, um, what do you call it? It's the area between two properties. Solid, yes. Yeah, boring as hell. But you know what? It's going to protect our foundation and hopefully keep our garage from flooding. And, uh... We just got a quote on some floor treatment for the garage, so we might be actually getting the garage floor coated. That is slowly becoming a space that is not going to be just like messy and gross. So that's 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 been it. Like we've just been working on there's like a there's supposedly like a meme or some uh trend going around of like uh what do you spend your money on? And then just like eating that particular thing. And everything for me has been like student loans, uh, student loans, food, and uh, like really not fun stuff to keep this house from falling apart. So we are, we are also taking a couple of trips that are going to keep us from spending too much money on Black Friday. We're going to go see some family and uh, have a nice little have a nice little vacation seeing them. And as much as plane tickets have fluctuated, I think we got a good deal. But, you know, hard to hard to say. All right. Last bench set here and then we'll move on to some rows. Start doing some full supersets. And then after this week, I don't even know what we're going to do with Bench. I might pick up a new program. Six weeks? What are you doing? Nah. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hey. Don't move. Everything's fine. That's great, Bill. I'm glad you found some some good deals. Yeah, today's been like this this month. Past two months. If anyone wasn't aware, full student loan repayment resumed in the U.S. in October, and so uh, you know, you know that does tend to uh, update the financial picture a little bit, just a little bit, changes some things, because uh. I was not able to pay for my education out of pocket. And so now we got interest rates that are out of pocket. Could be worse. Could be in a much worse spot. But yeah, Black Friday is an interesting thing. It's one of those deals that... How do I say this? I'm always of two hearts about Black Friday. The part of me that's like, as an individual consumer, I am incentivized to make purchases at this time in order to save money. Because it doesn't necessarily like help anyone 
for me to spend more money for no reason. But also there's small businesses that you can support. And I think that it makes a lot of sense. Spend that money on a small business if you can. But small businesses are not going to be selling, well, for the most part, not going to be selling TVs. So, uh, you know, got to get a new TV. Take advantage. Passes. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the socials. So if you go, if you do socials, you'll get the passes. I mean, hey, Byron, whatever gets you there. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. Not even worth usually from big businesses now because they mark up to bring down. I always wondered about that. And, you know, I worked in food service, but I didn't really work in retail that much. I had a little bit of a stint in retail, but it was more like convenience store retail. And I've never really understood all the pricing structures that work there. To be completely honest, I've always been pretty underinformed. Maybe I will just let the sun shine in and like lighting issues be damned. Let's see if I can put up with it because it feels weird to not get help from natural light available to me here. Now, I mean. I don't think there is a structure. You think they're just making it up as they go along? I'd believe it. I mean, I'm doing that 90% of the time. I switched payment plans. I haven't processed it, so I'm still in student loan forbearance, but for how long? Royal, welcome in. Um, so... What I dealt with when I was starting to repay my loans was there was a period where they wouldn't reactivate them just like automatically. My paperwork didn't go through. Uh, and I got the very good advice to just make payments. Like make payments equal to what you think your payments are going to be. Like not just a random amount. Make those payments without like having it go through their billing system so that if they go back to look through, like if, it, if there's ever a qualification program for loan forgiveness, you have a qualifying payment, or at least you can argue that you have a qualifying payment. <clears throat> like unless it's going to bankrupt you to do it. Ugh. Could be helpful in the long run. Oh, there we go. We'll add a little more weight on there. 195 is going to be our, our set. Worked at Best Buy. Most of the doorbuster deals are actually amazing deals. Do it to draw money. Ooh. Okay, Ringo, that's a good thought. Zach, Raiders. What is up, Zach Bot? How we doing, Zach Bra? Zach Bra? Zach Bra? Welcome in, Zach. How you doing? Welcome in, Flank, Rome, Thundergun, Billy Two Turn. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I'm getting some nice sunlight today, so I'm looking extra pale. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Joe. Go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. He, him, pronouns are mine. I use, uh, wow. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we lift weights. Tuesdays, Sundays, we play games all the time. We're an inclusive community, all about getting moving in the ways that work for you. Enjoying rad stories together. Let me see if this helps. Does that help? That helps a little bit. Oh, welcome in, David Offbeat. And welcome in, Thundergun. Welcome in, folks. Yeah, I'm, I'm glowing, and it's not. Man, I should. I wish I could like cover that up with like something translucent. I think I need to get that figured out. I too am a mic on glasses kind of cat. It's the move. I can read chat. So the con this weekend was great, Zach. It was so, it was so good. 
we ran into so many other cool people. Arya Celine, how you doing? Welcome in. Started on stream, you and Flank, as of now, are the only acceptable mustaches that aren't ironic. Okay, so does that mean that Acro did his mustache ironically? Because Akroshi... I could stand in front of the light for you. <laughs> just, a, just, just the slightest bit of... Okay, and then as soon as it changes, as soon as the cloud moves up, we're in the darkness again. But yeah, if anyone knows if Acro actually meant... Like... Was, was in earnest with his mustache? I would love to know. Thank you for the shout for Flank. Uh, can I also get a shout for Arya? Arya, how the heck are you? I did not mean to make that punish, but I did. Raiders, take care of yourselves. Grab a drink, grab a snack, grab a walk, grab a sip. Grab a... Grab a container of Thin Mints. And gobble them down. Because you all know just as well as I do that it's almost Girl Scout cookie season again. Y'all ready? Is your soul prepared? For tagalongs? Need to make breakfast. It's almost 1 p.m. Okay. Okay. What are you going to have? This is another good stash owner. Did we forget? Can you tell us what hair conditioner you use? Oh gosh, uh, Aria. Um, I believe that it's called Truly Unruly. Stoko Jen, welcome in. This is what we have right now. I was spreading them out. I'm doing the thing you don't have to tell me to do the thing. Suck it. Quote, Killer Booty 007. Crushed his Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, but I thought it was for that. Okay, so I thought once he, now that he had finished with that, he was, like, I thought that was a while ago. But he does do a great Carl because he's a large man and Carl is a large man. So you can say it's fancy. It does. It is just the one that comes from Costco. And I don't want to, I don't want to make it sound like I'm being more intentional about my hair care than I actually am. My hair care routine. I can, uh, I can definitely share. <laughs> You're, uh, it's not, it's, it's not wonderful. Ugh. Ah, okay. Gotta do curls. Uh, I didn't set up for curls. Hang on. Please hold. This will take roughly 15 seconds. And then it's snack time. It's gonna be snack time. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Hefty boys. We're going to drop. We're going to drop and we'll go for a little higher volume. I ain't ready for these today. Oh boy. By not ready, I mean, I can move them. Not moving them with very good form. So, uh, we ain't going to do it. Can't do it with good form. I'm gonna do it. Ain't happening. Not this cowboy. In theory. Just ate so much food. It's not as hungry as I thought. Wait a minute. You weren't as hungry as you thought, but you ate so much food. 
I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate a little extra eating. I am in extra eating season right now. It's okay to care about your hair, but not have a hair care routine. You did not miss it, and you may redeem it. If you would like. Are they power blocks? Yes. Yeah. I got the Power Blocks Elite EXP. That was my Black Friday purchase last year. So I've had these for a year, and they've held up very well. Held up very well. Eggs, and I don't like to reheat them. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. Oh, thank you, Poise. <laughs> thank you. That is so kind of you to share. That is so kind of you to share. Would allow me to do more at home. They're great. And the, the, the good thing about the EXP is that you get the base set, which goes up to 50, and then you get the extension sets. So a buddy of mine, I mean, it's just, it's just too much light. It's really killing me. Gonna like get seasonal sads from blocking light that could be very helpful. Is that gonna work? No. No, it will not. Sorry, pals. Maybe this will work. No, that's fine. That's better. That's better. Welcome in, Natty. We'll do that wellness minute in just a second. Um, I feel like there's something I was gonna answer a question on. Oh, um, it was pertaining to hair care. My hair care routine is as follows. I uh, wash my hair two days before I go into the office and then uh, one extra day where I don't have to be uh, anywhere in particular on that day because the day I wash it, it's in its worst shape. And I do the scrunch routine. So like when your hair is all wet, you just like bunch it up on top and you scrunch it. And you like crunch it all together. And then when it comes out and dries up, you get really good curls. If you got curls. I don't know if it works for people without curls. But yeah. I wash my hair three times a week max. Because otherwise, it is just constantly poofy and it does not behave. It does not do what I want it to do. So if anyone's washing their hair on the regular and they're like, why is it like, why can I not get it under control? Wash it a little less regular. It's not gross. Like if you, if you have like very, um, I don't know a lot about hair. So someone can just like slap me and tell me to shut up. But like, if you, if you have hair that is naturally like a little on the, uh, on the more, how am I going to put this? has a little more sheen to it naturally. Like maybe you want to, maybe you want to wash it a little more often, but very oily hair. So I do wash every day, but not shampoo every wash. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do what works for you. I have very thick, thick hair, thick curly hair. Uh, and I am fortunate to have thick curly hair. I have people in my family that are encountering hair loss very early on. And I have dodged that. Wash mine the day before I'm going to go anywhere. First hair wash day, my hair is nuts. Yeah. Nope, same thing. Bulking to achieve the exotic physique that is right segasson. That is right segasson. Welcome in. All right, I'm going to do the wellness minute after I do this next set because I told Byron I would do it. And then I kept yapping. And we only get to do abs if we don't over yap today. Yeah. The song is even telling me to shut up. Shut up and lift, big boy. What are you doing? Wait a second. Let that grip come back. Dyed my hair so it's dead as hell. <laughs> I have not dyed my hair in many years. I attempted a bleach a long time ago. Because I wanted boy band tips. 
That was a long time ago. Welcome in, Para. Yeah, man. What was I thinking? Oh, for 45 pounds today? I was not ready for that. I experienced hair loss, therefore I cut it all off. That's fair, Natty. That's super fair. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Good to see ya. Gonna bleach it today. Need to re-up the gray. Word. Yeah, I'm not saying bleaching is only for boy band hair, but that was why I wanted to do it when I was younger. Hairline has recently started moving backwards. Must be all the creatine. Yeah. It's all the, it's all the creatine and pre-workout and, uh, sorry. <laughs> maybe if you wouldn't be doing so much of that masturbating, you wouldn't be losing all your hair, son. Tell you what, I told you years ago, quit taking your creatines and jerking off so much. All right, we're back. You think I'm in a boy band? Understood. I mean, Billy, I have not seen or heard any evidence to the contrary. To be fair, currently at the gym too? Ooh, what you working on today? All right, it's time for a wellness minute. <laughs> after, after that. <laughs> Whew. All right, let me check my notes. This one's a little bit of a stretch, so... A little bit of a stretch to be talking about as a as a wellness minute in in completion. I'm back since TwitchCon. You're getting you're getting back into it. It takes a little time to get to get re-upped. Whoops. What is up, everybody? How are we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings, and welcome to today's wellness minute. Today's wellness minute is training to failure. So if you are someone who has been working out for a little bit of time, someone who's considering starting to work out, maybe you're just dipping your toes in it. Um, this one is, is going to be a little more or less relevant for you. Um, that's really not saying anything at all. Basically, the idea with training to failure, it is said often that training to failure is the way that we make results, right? Because specific adaptations to imposed demands general adaptations. We want to, if we are trying to get better at something, if we are trying to make a muscle stronger, we need to push that muscle to its limit uh, in order to uh, create growth or to, to make that adaptation happen. Uh, training to failure is something that can be done a lot more for folks who have been training for much longer. So to use just the uh, specific example, say you're doing your dumbbell presses, right? Dumbbell chest presses, you've got three by 10 or four by eight or whatever it is. If you are someone who is trying for hypertrophy, that is you are trying to get bigger, stronger muscles, more, more bigger muscles than anything. Uh, if you're trying to get bigger muscles, training to failure can be really, really beneficial. More so training to failure in those last two sets rather than you know your first set coming out, you're barely finishing. How are you gonna, how are you gonna ramp it up the rest of that? So uh, I feel like I'm really getting off track with this, but today's wellness minute is consider what role training to failure has for you. If you're someone who's a little bit more on the new side, it's gonna be more important that you get comfortable with doing movements in the proper form, that you're feeling like you're making a mind-muscle connection, which can take a lot of time. But uh, as far as training to failure goes, it, it is not necessarily something that you need to be implementing every single time. And if you do implement it every single time, there is a higher risk of injury, especially if you're going with heavier loads. So, people make like 20 to 30 minute videos about this very topic. For me to believe that I could do a wellness minute on this was heresy. And that's today's wellness minute. Ah, whatever. Yeah, if you're doing if you're doing a if you're doing Olympic lifting, Sega, if you're doing Olympic lifting, yeah. Boy, I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself when I was doing that. 
but it's okay. What's up, Swolness? What up, Sergeant Thunder Thighs? How we doing? Welcome. Welcome. But yeah, in short, if you're trying to get big and strong, you should be training to failure occasionally. If you were just trying to like work out to get in the habit of working out, you're just trying to stay healthy. Maybe you're doing some cardio and you don't have performance rate, performance based goals. You're not too concerned with progressing in any particular way. Don't feel like you have to take every set to failure. Push yourself. But don't feel like you are almost dropping weights on your face every time you're doing something. Because uh, you might just get injured and burn out. Give me muscle. Yeah, if you're trying to get big and strong, try to aim for failure in your last set. Talk about how you sell yourself short and how big you actually are. I don't know, man. I don't know. I still feel like when I stood next to everyone at TwitchCon, I did not feel that large. That is very kind of you, but I got some growing to do. I don't like the feeling of going to failure for anything, and that's okay. Especially, again, if, if your goal is not to, like, get huge, like, specifically, if you're not trying to train like a bodybuilder, and you're just trying to put on a little bit of muscle, especially in your first year of training, you don't need to go to failure. Now, if you know that you might potentially want to work towards those goals, you can get a lot done in your first couple of years of training if you're a little more optimized about it. And optimization does mean a little bit of training to failure. Mm. Ah. Oh. Oh. For health purposes, I don't think it's even necessary to train to failure. I train to failure because I am a failure. Just keep going. Oh gosh, I wish we could have met up, Natty. I'm sorry that didn't happen, like genuinely. We're the same weight right now? But you're so much stronger than I am. <laughs> you are, you are, free, you are an ox. That is, uh, oh man. No, I think like that's, that's one of the things that's been super, super motivating about Twitch Health and Fitness is like how strong one, how aesthetic some people are. Two, how strong some people are. How fast some people are. How hard some people train. Like, there are so many different fitness specializations on this platform that, like, it's golden. Like, I could, I could see that as something that, like, that could be very demotivating, potentially. But I'm taking it in and just being like, let's go. <laughs> 20 pound bulk, let's go. Nick D Games, welcome in. I am the one and only Ox here. Don't you dare give up my position. We do, we do. Yeah, Sweet Lou keeps picking on me because I won't stop running for a while. He's like, if you would just stop running for six months and just focus on lifting, you could get so strong. It's like, great, maybe I could, but I don't want to do that. I want to make both happen. Billy, have a good day, my dude. I'll talk to you later. Have a good sesh. 
You opine that you shall be enthused at the pursuit of realizing your potential as an average exotic physique enjoyer, then it is advisable to exert yourself to reach failure points. Or, one to two, rear. One to two, rear. Reps in reserve. How about that? It works for me. You run circles around me. And see, like, when I went, uh, when I went to Vegas and ran with Celsi, dude was just like, let's take an easy jog. And, uh, it was, I, I don't know if I could tell him that it really wasn't an easy jog for me. I mean, we both were kind of hung over, but that man can run. Not a horizontal mover. I'll stick to vertical movements, please and thanks. No run, no like. Well, why not? <laughs> I was going to say you have to do things outside of the sagittal plane, but uh, running is in the sagittal plane. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to drop that immediately. Man. All my nascent stuff is just like swinging back to me right now. Make sure you're doing stuff in the transverse plane of motion. Make sure you're doing stuff in the frontal plane. Do your side lunges and your, your ball chucks and your other types of side lunges and your lateral raises. Running is a no for me. I, I, I've said this before. Running kind of sucks. Like, I, I like running now that I have put a lot of work into it. And I've gotten to a point where uh, I can comfortably do it for longer periods of time. But running, running kind of sucks. Marathons are kind of stupid. So, uh, you know, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, that's okay. Nobody has to run. Nobody, nobody has to. I'll sprint for stuff though. Sprint, sprinting can be fun. Sprinting is very fun. It feels so odd to drive to a place and then use your feet to get around. Yeah, that is actually um, one of the things that has kept me from running with people in the last couple of years. Is like, I do not want to get in my car and use fossil fuels, dollars, and time to drive to a location where I'm going to run the exact distance that I just drove. That is, that is a lose-lose. Not lose-lose. It's just not, it's, 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 that, that doesn't work for me, man. That's really hard for me emotionally. I really gotta pee. Uh, it's silly and like it's also like if you do it for social purposes it's not a silly thing you know if you're doing something that you can't reasonably do from home it makes a little more sense for sure for sure Oh boy. Hello, Lou. Notorious, welcome in. Okay, but what do you hate about it? Like a lot of people hate running. I want to know, I want to know what you hate about running. That's my motivation. Ooh. You don't have to tell me though. Welcome in, Joe. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh. Oof. And that's it for our pulse superset. Your whole brand is about running. You can't back out of this. That is honestly a lot of it, Sega. I can't be cool runnings anymore if I stop running. 
Like that's it. Okay, I'm gonna look at that message in just a minute, Lou. So I think I'm gonna have to go get something. Feeder mode of transportation. Let me use one form of transportation to use another mode. Also have trash sidewalks, no parks. I'm not gonna run for a mile, then run the track. Miles enough for me. Word. Yeah. I hate the way it makes me feel like I wouldn't survive the Paleolithic era. Too much shit in my pockets. Maybe you shouldn't shit in your pocket. You can run from your problems or run towards the gains. See, one one good thing though is that since I've been a lot more intentional about leg training, like my hamstrings still have a ways to go, you know? But these boys are a lot thicker than they were even like six months ago from uh, putting some extra time in. Sweet Lou keeps telling me to stop running. <laughs> cool minings. Minings. Did I see your walk? I haven't been in Discord for the last couple hours, Para. Can you, do, are you, are you want to put it here? Or I can check right now. All right. I will be right back. I just did what I do best. You know, I, I took your little plan and I turned it on itself. Look what I did to the city with a few drums of gas and a couple of bullets. Hmm? You know? You know what I've noticed? Jesus, this is really long. Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Uh, even if the plan is horrifying, if tomorrow I tell the press that, like, uh, a game maker will get shot or a truckload of soldiers will be blown up 
Nobody panics because it's all part of the plan. But when I say that one little old mayor will die, well, then everyone loses their minds. Uh, introduce a little anarchy, upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. I'm like an agent of chaos. And uh, you know the thing about chaos? It's fair. How was that? You want to know how I got these scars? I'm sorry for the shouting. It's back to me. You know, the, the biggest issue with that, Lou, was that I had to scroll through it because it was in a whisper. You're welcome. You're welcome for my labor. What time is it anyway? I think it's time for me to eat a snack. Need more neck vein? I think it's on that side. Hashtag Van Lou. I mean, look, you're the mod. You can make that call if you want to. And that's a rock fact. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry that took so long. Para, congratulations on your long walk. Like, truly. Please don't ban Lou. I understood that reference. All right, Steve Rogers. I ate my half a waffle. You know, I told I told myself and everyone else that when we hit bulk season, I was going to start eating the whole waffle instead of half of the waffle. But I'm realizing that half of the waffle does what I need it to do for the workout. And it is also half as expensive as eating the whole waffle. So we're going to continue eating half of the waffle. Half of the uh, <clears throat> half of the waffle hole, the waffle, half of the waffle hole, the waffle, half of the waffle hole, the waffle, whole falafel. I worked at this place for a while that made a falafel waffle. And it was really good. Completely unnecessary. And like mildly appropriative, but completely delicious. I don't know how I got these scars. Balance, find balance between being too full, and not having enough energy. <clears throat> yeah. I would say, like, I don't know. With the exception of goo packs, which are, I want to say the goo pack is like, what, 100 calories? I have, I have really struggle eating, like, full, full um, mid-race nutrition. Like, whenever I get the, the cliff blocks and I eat those when I'm on a long run, I'll only eat half of them or maybe two of them. Part of that is because I'm cheap. That is part of the deal. Keep the cheapskate. <laughs> oh no, it's great. It was great, Lou. I had fun. I'm sorry you missed it. <clears throat> Uh-oh, did I break? <laughs> has Evie ever snatched it? She has not. Uh, she's pretty good about not taking food off the counter anymore. I think she uh, came to the realization that... Uh, creates more trouble than than anything else for her. So she has just not been taking food in that way lately. I still remember when Wifey made a beautiful, fresh loaf of brioche from scratch. And she left it on the counter to cool off. And uh, Evie just kind of disappeared for a while. And we walked into the kitchen, like we called her, and she came running from the kitchen. We're like, uh-oh. <laughs> and when we called her, she came in looking all guilty. We walked into the kitchen, and she had, like, taken this loaf of bread, which was laid up sideways on the counter. And there were just, like, it was like she was eating, a, like, corn on the cob. There were all these little 
nibs. <laughs> kind of long, but not too bad with the podcast. Masa's stepmom and dogs were happy to see me. Picked up a free bike on my way home to see if I can do it up. Yo, that's great. Congrats, Para. I'm really proud of you for getting that walk in. And see, like, you surprised yourself, you know? You figured, like, I'm just going to go for it and see how it feels. And it sounds like you were more ready for it than you thought you would be. But yeah, Evie, Evie stole basically half a loaf of brioche fresh from the, fresh from the oven. Cheebs! What up, Cheebs? Chiba, every time I do that, I like, it feels like I'm like throat singing. It hits me. It hits me in such a way. And anesthesia's here? Oh, goodness. Welcome in, friends. Welcome in. Can I get shouts for Chiba and anesthesia? Oh, how you doing? Happy Monday. We're doing some warm-ups for some seated OHP. I'm going to have to move this bench out a little bit more. <laughs> you, you get used to it. You get used to the, the low rumble, the vibration. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Anna. It's been a really full day. Gonna be, gonna be a pretty full day after we close this out, but... Thursday, I forgot to let my bottle breathe on takeoff and landing. Oh, no. Did you, did you have a water bottle explode? <laughs> on a plane? First stoner, welcome in. We're gonna do one more warm-up set. Because uh, we're gonna try... We're going to try to OHP 135 today, which uh, is, is two 45 pound, I mean one on each side, but we're going to try to, we're going to try for the, the 45s today. I haven't done this in a long time. I know for some people, this is not a lot by any means. Pretty big deal for me. Leaked all over the bottom of my bag. That socks tabs. That socks. Did was your stuff okay? Did anything get broken or stoked? Hello, Mr. Joel. Who does want to look like a damn snack? Can I take a bite, Tiger? You are entitled to a nibble. How are you doing today, Tiger? Good to see you, buddy. I'm gonna do a warm up set on uh, lateral raises too. Boink. I'll just stand over here and do it. We'll get some better camera action once we do these for real. It's it's a lot for a lot of folks. We just have some very strong people in the chat that are doing like standing overhead press for 225 as part of their practice. Like, oh God. I don't think I could do it standing for sure. I'd be able to get like maybe one to two reps. And I'd be feeling it for the next week. Not your blue suede shoes. Tabs. Don't go all Billy Joel on me. Rewatching Outlaw Star. Ooh, Outlaw Star. What was that? What was that like? Hold on. I got to Google that one. And then I have an impression to do, apparently. I just got to see some pictures. And then it'll come back to me. Yes. Okay. I remember Outlaw Star. Man, that's a throwback. Wow. Oh, they all had such downward pointy hair. I wonder why that was. But I remember the ship in particular. This is this is the thing that I remembered most about Outlaw Star. That's a really bad cap, but like it was the ship. And the, uh, I think that was a very horny show, too, if I remember correctly. Tab's dealing with a big spill in an airplane while people try to get around her walking up and down the aisles. Flight attendant's telling her to take a seat. She just needs some space and more her favorite suede shoes. Okay, Tabs, are you okay with me doing that? Because I will, I will decline if you don't want me to do it. Ooh, what's for lunch, Anna? Going to a wedding, had my bag under the seat in front of me. 
spilled an entire coffee over my stuff. Yo, oh my gosh. And of course they're not going to say anything. They're going to be too embarrassed. Oh, thank you, Tiger. Gene Starwind. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I remember that was one of the Toonami shows. Oh, Tabs, uh, so Florida Boy requested I do an impression of you, but I'm only going to do it if you're okay with it. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be so kind and accommodating. Maybe I should just do it. I've been given approval. Need another rocket impression soon. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I sure am enjoying this flat. Me here in my uh this Boeing 737 en route to Florida where uh where I where I'm currently traveling to to eat some banana and mayonnaise sandwiches. Oh goodness! Oh my god! Oh goodness! Oh man! Oh oh heck, there's so much there's so much water everywhere. I can't. No, no, I will not sit down. I will not. No, there is there is liquid all over my 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 beauty. My my shoes. My my Graham gave me these shoes. Whatever will I do? Whatever will I do? No. I have water in here. Anyone who has not actually met Tabs, Tabs sounds vaguely Southern when she gets upset, but does not actually carry a heavy Southern accent. I'm sorry, and I'm also not. If you ever want to make a mean joke or impersonation towards me, do it. <laughs> but I can't. I'm, I'm physically incapable of doing that. Because when I met you, you were nothing but kind and accommodating. <laughs> she gets upset. Tabs, can you give me a letter grade on that? I would appreciate it. Uh, Anna, to answer your question, I'm, I'm all good. I was saying earlier that this week, I have a lot to do in terms of like administrative stuff. Um, like personal and professional. I have a lot of administrative tasks to take care of. However, uh, it's a much more light week socially, which feels good. I'll be able to recover in that way. Yeah, thank you for the shout for Joe. Joe Torres, how are you holding up, my dude? Playing some Apex. As is the huge. A minus loved it. Perfect. Okay. I would expect that I do not care for this spill much. <laughs> An ad for McDonald's on a fitness stream. Look, you could fit McDonald's into your fitness life. It is possible. It is possible, my king. <laughs> I mean, I thought you were nice too, Tabs. Tabs, I told you that you're nice. You're direct. That, and, and nowhere did I say that you are not nice. You are a very direct communicator. <gasps> Yo, is that Sammy Thick Thighs? Raiders, hi, welcome in. Hang on a second. We got to stay on schedule. Welcome in, Raiders. Let me knock out the set and then I'll say hello. I have not. This is a this is a recent rep PR. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. Not you see him pronouns. 
Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we lift weights. Tuesdays, Sundays, we play video games all the time. We're an inclusive community, all about moving in the ways that work for you and enjoying rad stories together. Welcome to the dungeon. Gotcha. Now we got to do some, some lat raises, or lateral raises. Sammy, how are you doing? Welcome in. I feel like I've been completely at odds with your schedule and I have not been able to catch you. Everyone go check out Sammy Thick Thighs. Sammy is very, very kind. Woo! Oh boy, don't eat it. Now's a bad time to eat it. Sammy is very kind, very strong. Hell of a lot of fun. Oh, oh, that's been part of the Twitch health and fitness community for a good long while. We love Sammy. Oh, oh Sammy, that's too kind. Thank you for swinging by. Thanks for bringing your community over here. Oh, while Billy around, it wasn't my best. Okay. Yeah, that night, I think we were all pretty tired. <laughs> But it's great to have you back, Sammy. Raiders, welcome in. Take care of yourselves. That includes you, Sammy. I know if you gotta, you're probably busy. If you gotta raid and run, totally understand. Take care of yourselves. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Grab a walk. Grab a sip. Grab a pet. Pick them up. Give them love. Put them down. Watch them scurry away. Then come back here with us. And if you can't come back here with us and hang out right now. Hit the follow button. Come back around another time. We'll be live again on Wednesday with a lift. Tuesday nights of games. Full time with the stream thing due to unforeseen circumstances. Oh shit. Well, thank you for telling me that. I'm really sorry to I'm I'm sorry to hear it. I mean, obviously there's always a lot of when you say unforeseen circumstances, there's gotta be a lot of feelings there. Baseline maxes. 345 deadlift? Hell yeah. Ooh, hell yeah. That's fantastic, Sammy. How did it feel? Did it feel crisp? Were you really fighting for it, or did you feel like it uh it moved pretty easy for you? But yes, everyone, please please go and check out Sammy. Go give Sammy a little bit of your time. We're gonna keep going with uh with overhead press and lateral raises. Uh, you know it's funny in some senses we on schedule and in other senses we are very much behind so i'm gonna try to hurry up a little more but i always say that i always say i'm gonna go a little faster let me just make sure i'm not missing anything urgent right now interesting <laughs> I shouldn't have looked at my email. Let's lift instead. But Sammy, what is you want to share your uh Sammy, can you share your your new schedule while you're doing things full time? If you don't mind my asking. If you don't mind sharing. Thought you were nice anyway. Didn't want yeah. <laughs> Billy Billy was very I, I will say that I will repeat that. Very accommodating. Very kind human. Ten out of ten. Do recommend Billy to turn Billy for president. I don't think Billy would want to be president. I guess I haven't talked to Billy enough to know. Billy, you want to be president, bro? Ah. Yay! My king! My king! Billy for my king! I both love and uh, kind of hate all of you for 
putting that in my brain because there have been multiple times at work in the last couple of weeks where I've been very tempted when someone asks me to do something. Yes, my king. Right away, my king. Ugh. Well, you're more qualified than you know. <laughs> Some very unqualified people have been president. Ah. Sheesh. He said it. Yas, queen. Yas. Monday through Friday, 10 to 12. It's all lifting. One one fry set. Nice. All right. So you're, you're doing the lifting and the gaming. Sick. Well, I can't wait to catch a stream soon. Catch up with you a little bit. <laughs> Didn't even know the dudes on Mount Rushmore. There you go. Rome's got you. Mount Rushmore changes every time you think about it. Everyone thinks it's some long standing. I need to go get more water. Everyone thinks it's some long standing relic of a bygone era. But really, it is the shifting sands of time. And every time you blink and think about someone else on Mount Rushmore, that is who is on Mount Rushmore. You must will it to be so. Every time. Went there twice in a year once. Adam Sandler was on there for like 10 minutes. It was wild. I mean, his, his, uh, his like actual very successful part of his career was much longer than 10 minutes, but he was on Mount Rushmore for 10 minutes. There tends to be like a sliding scale with it. So I may have been on there for, I don't know, six seconds, but if you compare 10 minutes to six seconds in terms of, as the holder heck would put it, niche internet micro celebrity, we're getting there. We're getting there. It'll be my turn again in 20 years. Probably watched about 10 minutes of his movies. So being like preteen and teenage boys in the Midwest, in the time that he was very popular, I watched a lot of his movies. I had a DVD copy of Little Nicky. I probably watched that movie 10 times. And if you haven't seen Little Nicky, um, I think 10 years ago, I would have said like, you should watch Little Nicky. And uh, nowadays, I think you could just go without, you know? Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. Maybe there are still some good lines. You never even heard of that one? Yeah. Little Nicky, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is a classic. And that's not just coming from someone who uh, grew up, grew up being sort of forced to golf. And having some identification with Happy Gilmore uh, golfing, even though he, like, kind of didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, Little Nicky is a product of its time, for sure. One. This is going better than expected. I'm happy about it. Why are you bulking? <laughs> uh, I'm bulking for funsies. I'm also bulking because I am uh, pretty, pretty well 
convinced that I'm going to attempt a bodybuilding show in fall of 2024. I haven't decided which show, what category, any of that stuff. But that's, that's why I'm bulking. Welcome in, Vic. <laughs> Swinging, a lot of swinging. Oh, three sets down. The Wedding Singer. I was never really a fan of The Wedding Singer, honestly. That one, I, I never really gave it a chance. The Water Boy, Mr. Deeds. Hell yeah. I am very sneaky, sir. That was Billy Madison, yep. <laughs> Billy Madison is him, like, shaking the kid's face and telling him to hang on to his childhood as long as he possibly could. <laughs> Anyone else done with the cut and saying, sure, we'll call it bulking. I had one month of intentional maintenance, which is helping me say, like, okay, we're bulking now. Whew. Nothing in your incoherent babbling could ever be considered rational thought. <laughs> okay, there's the line. Is that the competition that's going to be in Texas? Yeah, I need to talk with everyone about it. So there's, like, the Arnold is going to happen in March of this next year. And I would not be... I would not be attempting anything for that. I'll be, like, finished with my bulk around the time that that pops up. Wedding Singer, 51st Dates, proper good movies. <laughs> Peeing in your pants is cool. <laughs> Happy Gilmore is definitely one of the faves. Yeah, Happy Gilmore and... um, He, like, he did a couple later on that were a little more serious and or, like, I don't know, pretty good movies. There's one that I'm not going to talk about right now because I don't know how well it's aged, but we're just going to let that go. Stay here. Stay as long as you can. For the love of God, cherish it. The movie he did with Kevin Garnett. No, I was talking about You Don't Mess With the Zohan. So You Don't Mess With the Zohan and The Cobbler came out in like kind of a similar period where he was doing movies that were funny, but also like low key, very serious. <laughs> we did see Zohan. <laughs> it was interesting. It was interesting. Uncut Gems. I didn't see Uncut Gems, but did hear about it. Yeah, I think a lot of people erased it. Wait, there was a question in here. Are you doing the same Sulek diet? No. No. Because I'm not taking large amounts of performance enhancing drugs. Good, good. I hope that young man is happy. We're all we're all happy for him. Definitely not concerned about his well-being. Uncut gems is an anxiety fest. I kind of avoid movies like that nowadays. Is anyone else in that space where, like, when you want to watch a film or, like, take the time to take in a piece of media, you don't necessarily want something super anxiety-inducing, so you go for a little more escapism? He eats to bulk. He does. He does. He eats to get bigger. And uh, he also does a lot of other things to get large that, uh, that I am not ready to do. Right, last set. Come on. <laughs> One more.
Huzzah! Welcome in, Remus. I don't want to feel feeling. You watched a ghost movie? Which one, though? I think that matters. Because if it was Casper the Friendly Ghost, we may not, we may not have to worry about much. Ah. Mm. All right, now we get to move on to final giant set, incline, flies, hammer curls. Intention span and investment for movies in general, all time low. But there's so many shows to watch now. That's the thing. <laughs> the butt, obviously. So I got a couple of things I'm working on. I'm working on quads and hammies. And my chest. And I'm trying to make my arms bigger too, but uh, the arms are less of a focus than the chest right now. I need to fill in fill in some muscle. And that has honestly been something I've been working on for many years. And I'm starting to see much more progress this year because I've been more intentional about what movements I'm doing, getting good muscle contractions, doing good eccentric work. So my big thing is like left side chest, you know, just like comparatively, right? My chest is not very big compared to like my lats, you know? So when I do front double by, chest just kind of disappears. Uh, my left side chest is in a little bit better, better straights, but my right side chest, and it's even, it's like, you can even tell it's started to get better. Like if I did a comparison video over the last couple of years, even like six months, you know, eight months, you'd see a little bit of improvement, but chest is still something that's coming along. Well, thank you, Rome. That's kind of you. I'm hoping that once, uh, once I get, if, if I can move this gym out to the garage, if it's not too cold, that the lighting will be a little more honest. We shall see. Have to wear those bodybuilder underwear. See, but I don't. Like, you can do classic bodybuilding and wear trunks. You don't have to wear... You don't have to wear the, uh... The thongs. Like, you'll get more... It, it is definitely beneficial if you're doing classic bodybuilding and you're willing to wear the, uh... so I would do classic, I would not do open. And if you're unfamiliar with the difference between classic and open, just look at the difference between uh, the winner of this Olympia, Chris, Chris Bumstead in classic bodybuilding and uh, gosh, what's his name that won open? Dude is just freaking huge. Freaking huge. Well, thank you, Rome. <laughs> I am grading on a curve. I'm trying. I just want it to work. Like, it is. I will fully admit hubris. Like, I'm going to wake up one day. I'm going to walk out to that garage gym. It's going to be 45 degrees in there after I've run the heater for however many for like an hour, right? And uh, at the end of that, like once I actually touch my cold iron, cold steel weight implements, I'm going to regret everything. You'll just see a lot less skin in the winter 
and a little more in the summer. What up, bath salts? You're going to get the dark spray tan? I'm going to have to. That's just part of the process. Like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Nah, I mean. My soul, the running. No, thank you, Billy. That's, I mean, that's kind of you. That is, that's very affirming. And I know that I've made some really, really good progress in these last couple of years. And I feel very good. It's got a ways to go. You know, like if I want to be competition ready. <laughs> Welcome in, bath salts. You know, I may end up wearing gloves in the winter. Which I'm on the fence about. Lifting gloves, not because I'm worried about scratching up my hands. Not because I'm worried about grip. Because I'm worried about frostbite. Tan. And we'll go to 40. And we'll do our pet flies. Any updates on personal training? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Um, I have a couple of clients that I've been in conversation with that I promised them I'd prioritize them. And we haven't actually started yet. Oh. Three, coming down. Pause, four, coming down, pause, Ugh. And then we'll do hammer curls. Feels a little silly. Just the job you want, you know? <laughs> Wait, you want to be fingerless? Oh, man. Don't forget to practice your posing. I will absolutely practice. Welcome in, stars and bars. And welcome back, Sirely. All right, hammer curls. Thank you, Tiger. Mm. Overprogrammed. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be rough. I'm tempted to drop, drop weight, get that volume up. So maybe we'll just uh, we'll hold out because we're not going to be doing, I guess it will be two days and then we'll be doing upper body again. How are you doing bars? How's your week? Mm. I owe squats for bath salts. Oh, wow. Good. Good. You didn't forget. Get it done. Whew. One sec, folks.
Had a nice enough weekend. Started off the week with International Chess Day. Sick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Right now we're hitting chess three times a week. In uh in one way or another. One thing that I get better about doing is I have a workout that I do with a buddy on Thursday nights. That's been kind of that's been kind of taken up. Um, that's a workout that I've been doing on Thursday nights that I've been really bad about planning in. So I've been hitting muscle groups like two days in a row, which is not ideal. Just because, like, it's just the, the time when it falls. So. Eleven, thirteen, twenty-three. 13, 23. It is the 13th, right? Yes. Ah, oh, you do two workouts on Thursdays. I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do a speed workout or um, most, most often speed workout, but some sort of running in the morning. And then in the evening, I meet up with this dude and we do honestly, whatever he wants to do. Um, Oh boy. Okay. Sorry, friends. But yes, so uh, typically on that Thursday night, we would do, um, we'll start off with a little bit of chest work. Um, and I'll either do flat dumbbell presses or incline dumbbell presses, whatever I haven't been doing, uh, wherever I, whatever I didn't do the previous day. We'll do some kettlebell swings. He has one of those indoor sleds with the wheels on it. And he really loves using it. <laughs> so we always... We always do like a push pull uh cardio kind of deal where like one of us will push the sled and then pull it and then push it and then pull it while the other person does either kettlebell swings or um does the does the rowing machine for that whole period and it's just uh it's just good fun I've asked him a couple of times if he wants me to do programming for him. Like, do you want me to come in with a workout that we're going to do together? And he's just like, nope, you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to do this. And uh, a couple of times he's been kind of stubborn about it, but it's okay. Because he's getting what he needs out of it. And he paying. <sighs> Drop down to forty. <laughs> Like to work out with a partner again. So inconsistent with timing. A lot harder to make time for friends as an adult. It truly is, Nick. Uh, and I think that's why, like, he really wanted to to get me picked up to work out with him once per week. Because he wants that motivation. And he wants someone to push him a little bit. But it's just hard for him to find the time. So there have been a couple of times that we've had to cancel. But I don't hold it against him. Man, hang on a second. 
point. How being stubborn. Um, so he had like an elbow injury. Also, common sense, welcome in. He had an elbow injury. Um, again, like re really nice guy. Had an elbow injury and was fighting some other injuries. I was just like, hey, you could work these things in. And it might help you get over that a little bit faster. Like, maybe you don't need to press the 100-pound dumbbells today. And you're just like, no, it's fine. He's doing better now. It was just like a near injury thing. Mm. <sighs> oh, love hate relationship with these. Oh. <sighs> Michael! Welcome in, Michael! How we doing, bud? How we doing, friend? I understand. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna compete in 2024? That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, we were talking about that today, common sense was uh when is it a good thing to train to failure? And part of it is like, if you're not trying to compete or get like really big or really strong for a lot of people, it's like not really necessary to do training to failure. You'll still see general health related results. <clears throat> Nope. That's it. For that set. I owe Tiger a flex out. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Uh. Today is a nice day. No particular reason. I love hearing that. Today is day one of bulking. That is correct. That is correct. We are. I mean, I guess, like, you could say... Yesterday was my first day of bulking. I was, uh, being a little more intentional about it yesterday and kind of the day before I was really focusing on getting enough, getting enough carbs, getting enough protein. Now with the muscle balance, muscle imbalance in my biceps, one is failure, one is chill. Yeah. So that's me with my chest, like that right side. That right side always gives out first. There's your, there's your difference, right? Barely noticeable, and it's getting better. But that right side gives out first every time. Nice. That's fantastic, common sense. Good stuff. But yes, we are starting our bulk. We're going to be running. Uh, we're going to be aiming for a 32 to 3,500 calorie intake on the daily. A lot of food. A lot of food. A lot of peanut butter and jelly. Did a little yard work today and feel like a productive adult. You know what I see from here? I see a productive adult. I see a full ass human. Full-ass human being. Ugh. I'm starting to get a little... Starting to get a little toit in the wrists. Start my regular workout routine. Need to figure out what going to failure means. Previously, I had times where I was so sore that I couldn't work out for days afterwards. Yeah, I mean, in general, Hearst owner, when you do get back into it, I would say don't try for failure in your first four weeks. Like, if you're doing... Like... You do a couple of weeks where you're feeling things out. You're just doing your moves again and you're getting back into the rhythm. Like you can make them challenging, but avoid going to failure each time. And then after that month, if you want to start a couple days a week in those workouts, getting your last sets a little more towards failure or say you've got a four by eight planned 
and your last set is like your last set ends up being like four by seven or four by six and a half i would say that's pretty good but initially give yourself a chance to get that neurological connection back into like what that movement should feel like maintenance calories are about 1500 can't imagine doubling that or even more with a lot of exercise it is it's it's a lot of food and it's something i worry about like one you know from a sustainability standpoint it's a little bit wasteful Cabs are not happy with the cold weather theraguns for days i need to get better about doing my theragun again when i'm running a lot i am on it like during marathon training season i'm I'm hitting those bad boys every single night. Love seeing the company general channel that someone who's been in the company being let go. Anon! Anon, thank you! Thank you for the gift sub! Yeah, first owner, let me know if you got more questions. Um, I'm happy to... I know you, you, you know what? You didn't even ask. You didn't ask a question and I just like mansplained to you and I'm sorry. That is the wrong amount of weight. I will be very unhappy if I use that amount of weight. Just 10 pounds more, fine. Been over four years since I last worked out regularly. I got my protein intake down so I can take advantage of my beginner gains. Heck yeah, dude. What are your main protein sources? Like, what's your, uh, what, what's your plan to get it in? Oh. Yeah, you'll get some good newbie gains on a reset. There it goes. <sighs> that right side. Mm. Nine it is. I cheated it up to get one more good, slow, eccentric on that last set. Oh. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Four thousand calories. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yo, Tabs. Tabs, have a good day. Have a good flight. Please don't. I hope you don't end up in the situation that I had thus set up for you. That we've done an impersonation of. You ever done egg protein powder? I have not, Chris. Where uh I'm not I'm not I don't think I've heard of egg protein powder. Does it taste like eggs? Or is that just the main source? <sighs> Lock the lats and scapula. Draw back, down slow, squeeze. And back up. <laughs> My weird gym trait is that I uh do you like nervous laughing when a set starts to get really hard. A lot of protein bars, a ton of whey, mostly chicken and rice, like I've heard a lot of people have done. 
So I will say that for me, uh, roughly 100 grams of my protein intake every day comes from powders. So it can be expensive, but it's also a uh, great time saver. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. Whew. Welcome in, hey girl. How you doing? Hey girl. How you doing, Ryan? Can I get a shout for hey girl, please? Welcome back, Dan. Uh, uh, powdered protein sources. So here's my, here's my typical protein intake on a given day. In the morning I wake up. Hang on. I can't talk about this while I'm doing these. <clears throat> Ouch. We got one more, one more giant set. Hey, what up, CC? How we doing? How the hell are you? Good to see you, Swole Succubus. Can I get a shout for Swole Succubus, please? Y'all haven't gone over to hang out there. You're missing out. CC's up and coming. She's hella strong. Respectfully. Respectfully. Looking good. Protein powder is nice because you can add to so many things. Yep. Yeah. So mornings for me are either a scoop of vanilla protein powder in oatmeal or I make protein milk, which is just like a vanilla protein shake. And I use that as the milk in my cereal. And then half an hour before my workout, uh, one scoop of whey, one scoop of casein and one scoop of creatine. So a little... A little, little scoop of creatine. Then after my workout, I don't really care about the anabolic window. It's just I, I do it so I don't forget. Another scoop, another scoop away, another scoop of casein. And right there, that's like somewhere around 125 grams of protein. You can wait. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, CC. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so like my daily protein intake is somewhere between 160 to 190 is what I aim for. Usually if I get to like 150 to 170, I'm happy because that's all you need. 0.8 grams per pound of body fat. If you're trying to build muscle, that's all you need. It's six to seven scoops a day, but it's like. I mean, yeah. If you, if you count like servings, it is five servings of protein powder between whey and casein. Because my casein scoops are, it's like you put two scoops in for the casein. You don't have to just use casein before you go to bed. That's what people talk about using casein for. And it could be a good like bedtime, sleepy, like keep building muscle while you're sleeping and recovering type deal. Like it does have that use to it. But for me, it is a lot more helpful in managing my, ap my appetite. Because when you just, if you just drink whey protein, like it is very, it metabolizes very quickly. Welcome in Chandra. Whey protein metabolizes very quickly. It will help you with recovery. It will contribute to your daily overall protein goals. You will not feel like full or satisfied from just whey protein and water. At least I don't. So yeah, that's, that's mine. That's, that's my routine. I'm just saying like, you should definitely like, don't just drink protein shakes and like eat white bread, you know, like eat vegetables, eat whole grains. I, I try to eat a lot of whole grains. <sighs> Oh. 
and just give it time. Oh, shit. Oh. Couldn't get it back up. But controlled it on the way down. I'm sorry for my swears. I'm very sorry. Whey protein and milk go really well together. They do. A lot more filling. Yeah, if you want to talk about, like, scope creep... My lifelong scope creep is the amount of protein powder that I've taken in. I've consumed a lot. David, zero, welcome in. All right, we'll do our last set here. In fact, is that better? That's better. Nope, that sucks, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do it. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Come on, we got two more. That last one didn't count. Uh. Didn't count. Ah. All right, Tiger, are you still here? Mm. Tiger of the Gale, are you present? You are here. Great, I owe you a flex out. We'll do this set of curls and then I'll do my flex and then we'll make our way out of here. Oh, and a nibble. Ah. Nope. Nope, 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 Roll up the shorts just a little bit. And I'll take off the shoes too. And in my spot. My little my little flexy spot. Don't lose the legs. Nope, I gotta get this leg back. Hi. 
just in time for some Pokemon music. Is there... No, I need that left leg up front. <laughs> Gotta make that waist smaller when I'm doing this one in particular. I'm gonna get a decent mantis <laughs> chest up. Oh. Darmy, thank you for the follow. Oh. All right. It's time, folks. I get out of here. I get out of here. Get back to work to do my job. I don't know who called me, but that's a problem that I'm going to have to deal with momentarily. Folks, let's go see who's live. See if CC's live. She's around. We'd absolutely do that. Let's take a look. You know what? Let's uh I'm gonna bring y'all over. I'm gonna bring y'all over to three tokes, actually. I haven't spent a lot of time with them, but uh, I didn't know that they did fitness and health. So everyone, thank you. So, so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, whether you're here for a little bit, here for a lot of bit, whether you came in on a raid, whether you popped in off of one of our notifications, uh, please get in on the socials and the Discord. We've got all the relevant socials that you could think of. Uh, we do have a... T I am on TikTok, actually, even though I hardly make TikToks. And I should be multi-streaming on TikTok, but, you know, I don't keep up with my shit. So, everyone, thank you so much for being here today. Uh... Again, if you want to get in on the Discord, do that at the link. Best place to get up-to-date information on what is happening on the stream. Uh, and also just like chat with us off, off stream. Uh, I try to be pretty active on Discord. Not always the most responsive. Scoramatus, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be back tomorrow night for some gaming. I think, I think we're going to do an inscription recap. And then I don't know what we're going to play after that. Nice to you, Score. Good to meet you. What's up? Yes. In the meantime, please be kind to yourself, kind to someone else. Do some things that make you happy. Fill your tank. Maybe reach out to someone. Let them know that you are thinking about them, that you're in their thoughts. Yeah, sorry about it. Sorry about it. I got to get back. I get back to the, the ye old day job. Maybe you can catch us on Wednesday when we're lifting again. That's our next lift. It's Wednesday around 1130 Eastern time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. For now, we're going to go see Three Tokes, who's in the gym right now. And uh, I will. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.